The superintendent of Richardson Schools is expected to step down later on this evening. Jeannie Stone has been at the center of protests by some groups in the Richardson ISD community. Our Steve Pickett is joining us live right now, Richardson School District headquarters. Looks like the meetings uh, started or getting real close with all those people there. Yeah, I, I want to give you some indication what we have here. It is a what they call a split decision. We're not sure if this superintendent has the support of this board, and so we're down to this point of which she will, if she will keep this job. The folks you see behind me here, Doug, these are teachers of this school district. Almost everyone in this crowd, a strong support for the superintendent wanting her to stay, but those who oppose her, who've been allowed in that opposition, may be getting exactly what they've demanded. Are we being responsive to the needs of all students? Dr. Jeannie Stone is still the chief of the Richardson School District, but her expected exit may be an indicator of who's actually in control of the school system. I want to remind you that you work for the trustees, Dr. Stone, not the other way around. You should be ashamed. All the SEL, all the other stuff, all the mask and all this other stuff is, is uh, a distraction. Those outbursts and confrontations became part of school board meetings here. Not long after Stone initiated a mask mandate for the 39,000 children in RISD schools, despite a governor's order to not do it. Critics have also opposed her creation of a diversity, equity, and inclusion department for the school system, a school district with a minority majority student enrollment. A coalition of people opposed to Stone's direction want her out. But this afternoon, a large gathering of RISD teachers held a rally opposing any talk of her leaving. We want to show our support of Dr. Stone, um, the changes she has made in the district, um, the growth of our curriculum, um, the programs that we use, they matter. Those board members are in a closed session right now. We are told with attorneys and with Dr. Stone, she earns $330,000 a year in salary for this contract. It is believed by 7 o'clock tonight there will be a joint statement issued, and she will resign essentially and could get up to almost $1 million because she has.